One church is proof that big things come in small packages. And I stumbled upon the tiny house movement. Which led to this tiny chapel. And welcome to my tiny chapel. Reverend Bill Malbon's design comes complete with a vaulted ceiling, solid oak floors, and even Gothic windows, all in just a small space. The chapel can fit two dozen people. Yes, most have to stand, as there's only two pews. And I always knew that I wanted to be that old country church. You know, I wanted it to be recognizable right away. You have a tiny chapel here that's sharing God's message in a very big way. Yes, yes. I, uh, people love the uniqueness of this place. They love the fact that um, they can come inside and just feel God's presence. And in order to share God's message nationwide, and just let it down slowly, he took his chapel on the road. It's a challenge pulling anything that weighs almost 10,000 pounds. A nearly 10,000 pound church on wheels to be exact. Well, first, I think they kind of do a double take. It's like, is that a house he's pulling? Bill, if someone told you one day you're going to be driving a church across America, what would you say to that? You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that crazy idea has landed Reverend Malbon weddings across the country. I think wherever the chapel goes, people are going to go, hey, that's pretty cool. Um, it, it, it gets people thinking about something different. If this was just a, another RV, people would go, ah, he's in my way, why is he going so slow? But uh, I find a little more tolerance when they uh, realize that I'm not just pulling a tiny house behind me, but a tiny chapel. He's pulled the chapel to Chicago, Pennsylvania, and up the East Coast, offering affordable ceremonies that actually run as little as 100 bucks. One of the things I tell a couple all the time is that I want them married to each other and not married to death. Which is where this church rolls in to help couples tie the knot and spread the gospel one mile at a time. You don't need the building. We're the church, the people of the church. But having that sacred space where people can gather and, and, and get together and share God's word, uh, uh, to share your ministry, is just a wonderful thing. No doubt the tiny chapel is generating buzz right here in Virginia with planned stops in D.C. and Maryland. For CBN News, I'm Ben Kennedy in Hanover County.